October 7th was a big day for us. We were there when the attack happened, when they started shooting rockets at us. And I think that in those situations where your life is literally in danger, it gives you time to think about what's important to you. It really does. Three days after the attacks, I went down to where they were hosting them. It was a displacement camp is what it was. So I went there because I wanted people to be able to tell their stories. You know, there's a couple of ways you get over that type of situation that happens in your life. My father was murdered in front of me. And I remember afterwards, I talked to everybody about it, strangers, everyone. You know, he was shot to death in front of me and died in my arms. And I knew that these people had seen that with their loved ones, with their children with their parents, with their husband and wives. They were there and they saw them killed in front of their eyes. So I went down and I thought I would take as many stories as I could for whoever wanted to speak, not trying to get news. I said, I'll go down and you talk to them. Anybody that wants to talk about the situation, let them know. I will record it and I will put it out there. And so that's what I did. And I think that when we're in situations that are difficult in our life, we should think about this. One day, someone who's been through that type of situation may come into your life. And when they do, you want to have the opportunity to help them in any way that you were helped when you went through it. And I can tell you, when I went through that situation with my dad, God helped me.